Hey there everyone, this is Jeff Perkins with JD Cutlery doing a quick uh, review on a new lot of zero tolerance knives that I've just finished up anodizing. Um, they should be posted here on the website the next couple days. So uh, definitely check them out. Um, we've got a few that are definitely very unique and different. Not that most of them aren't uh, very unique and different, but uh, did a couple different things. So we'll kind of go through these one at a time. Uh, we've got quite the spectrum from the uh, 220 all the way up to the 920. So we'll go ahead and hit these one at a time and uh, I'll show you what we've done. Okay, let's go ahead and start uh, with one that is definitely a little bit different. Uh, this is the ZT0095BW. Um, serial number on this one is 4387. Uh, this is one that comes with the Blackstone wash on the handles and blade when it comes in. And I have gone ahead and removed all of that stone wash and done a uh, satin finish. Then we anodized the background a yellow with a really nice uh, green to teal green drizzle on it. So definitely something that's quite a bit different than the standard. A lot of times I'll do these and I leave a lot of the black wash on them. Uh, this one here, I wanted to go for the full color tilt and uh, that that nice green teal uh, has a lot of shine to it. The yellow is a little bit more matted. But again, this is, uh, this is one that we've removed all of the black wash off of. You can still see it's got all the, all the milling that uh, Zero Tolerance has started putting into this model. Pretty neat looking knife. Definitely a lot different than the standard. The standard black wash on this is much darker. This gives it a nice overall pop as far as a different look. Um, lock up on this one is right about probably 25-30%. Centering looks pretty good, just a slight off but not, not bad at all. And uh, action on this one is flipping really nice. So these are a nice knife. I really like the uh, the size of the knife. Fits in the hand good. It is definitely in the large category, but very slim line. So these knives have done really well for me. I do like the way they fit in the hand because it's so slim. That pocket clip really doesn't give you a hot spot. Um, just an overall pretty, pretty cool looking different knife. So you, I definitely haven't seen many that people have sat and finished. So I figured I'd throw one out there and make it a little bit different. Another one that's going to be in that same category of you're not seeing many of is the ZT0450CF. Um, that is the carbon fiber handle, black DLC coating, and uh, we've gone ahead and satin finished this one, removed all of the black DLC coating from the handle. They do some pretty heavy duty, serious coatings on their knives. Um, it's not something that... Uh, you can remove with a paint thinner or anything like that. It does have to be actually removed with a grinder. So a lot of work goes into these. It's why you don't see me doing many of these because there's a lot of work in it and uh, not necessarily the best uh, profit margin when you start looking at how much work goes into it. But again, these are great. These 450s, great knives. Just something a little different. That black, black blade, black hardware with that nice green satin finish and it's got hues of purple going through it. The cutout here 
has purple, heavy purple hue, and then you've got hues of purple just kind of going throughout this knife. So it's a green with a purple hue. You really can't pick up the purple hue very much in the video. Purples just elude me. So we're looking probably about 25-30% lockup. Centered in nicely. And of course you've got uh, the green offsets and a nice little lanyard. But great flippers. Fantastic little knife for in your pocket. Nice lightweight. Very good EDC knife if you're working. Disappears right in the pocket. Go ahead and jump into its uh, cousin, also a Sinkovich design. This is the ZT0460. Um, you've got that much more upswept blade. Definitely, as far as size comparison goes, you are same size knife. So, same size knife. Just a much different uh, blade profile and handle profile. I definitely love the way this knife looks. Looks kind of wicked with that nice up sweep blade. Um, this one we've anodized green. Um, done some work on the flat. Hit it with a bronze to give it that patina look. And then I removed the black coating from the pocket clip and heat, heat uh, bronze that to give it more of that patina look. And of course you have the bronze carbon fiber on this side. Oh, looks like I forgot to finish putting that screw in. I need to, I'll go ahead and tighten that up before that goes out. As you put these together, you put this one in first. Then there's an insert that goes through the handle and the screw goes on this side. You can't tighten this up until you've got the insert in. This one tightened up. And then another screw goes in the back side of that insert. So it's a neat design. Definitely like that but I'd need to tighten that screw up just a little bit. That'll definitely be tightened up before it goes out. Um, these are really neat little flippers. Uh, again, I love the look of these. You just gotta be careful when you've got a big hand. You gotta make sure that your fingers are not pushing on that lock bar. If you put any pressure at all with your fingers on that lock bar, it will not open. So. That is uh, the one benefit, in my opinion, that the 450 has, is you've got that bigger pocket clip. It gives you a place to put your fingers on it. You've just got to be get used to carrying this uh, 460. Once you're used to it, it'll flip every time. Not a problem. You just need to make sure you're not putting pressure on that lock bar again. People have a hard time at first sometimes. Um, but as you can see here, I haven't had any problem every flip it flips open nicely not an issue so once you get used to it it is definitely not something that's going to give you any kind of problems uh, we're probably about 20 percent lock up on this one and we are nicely centered uh, between the titanium and that nice carbon fiber handle and again fits nicely in the hand um, i've got a bigger hand my pinky does kind of go off that edge um, it's one of the reasons I like lanyards. Uh, if you've got a smaller knife, you can throw a lanyard on there. It gives you a little bit more purchase for the end of your hand. But uh, this one does not give you the lanyard hole option. But definitely, cool looking knife. That bronze green patina effect. Just a neat little knife. Sinkovich has got some really good designs. Uh, their partnership with Zero Tolerance in a number of these different knives has just been fantastic. Speaking of another one that I uh, would call fantastic in the Zero Tolerance world, the 920. Uh, for the models that came out this last year, in my opinion, 920 is the king. Um, the 0055 is a second close place. I definitely like the mechanics of the 0055. This one just is a little bit more ergo, and I love the blade on this thing. Can't wicked edge it, but man, I love the blade on this thing. It's just got that upswept harpoon look. Just a wild knife. 
So this one's going from a kind of a tealish green into blue into purple fade. And then we've got a nice bronze drizzle. And I've bronzed that pocket clip as well to match the, the drizzle. Just a cool looking knife. I like this color pattern. I did another one of these that was kind of similar. The purple wasn't quite as bright on the other one. Um, this one's got a real nice bright purple and the teal is pretty good. You do have a little bit of shading that's in here as well. Um, so a little bit of purple going into the blue to teal. Just a little bit of shading there. But really cool looking knife. That, uh, that bronze drizzle just makes it pop nicely. And these things flip like a champ. Nice big knife. Very ergonomically designed. Fits in the hand really nicely. That titanium pocket clip just disappears into the palm of your hand. Got a little bit of jimping up top. Great feeling knife in the hand. Um, lock up on this one. Uh, we're looking probably 10-15% there. And centering is pretty good. Yeah, actually it's it's pretty good. These have a habit because of the design. There's no screw on this side of the pivot. If your knife is a little bit over to this side, typically you tighten up the screw on that side and it pushes the blade over. So where there's no screw to tighten up, you're really working with this side and trying to have it centered up the best you can. So a lot of the 920s aren't perfect and they, you know, they tend to come that way. But uh, definitely no problems with rubbing or anything like that. So these a great design, feels great in the hand. Um, you can't really see in the video, but they have uh, chamfered out, milled out some of the insides to lighten it up a little bit because it is a big knife. But uh, lighter in the handle, a little bit more weight to the blade. So cool looking knife, definitely one of my favorites of this year's lineup. Here is, we're going to call this the apocalyptic green with purple drizzle. You've got some different greens. You can see we got a splotch of yellowy green, some greens in the background with a purple drizzle, and then it's been stonewashed as well. So I'm going to talk, call this my, my atomic green and drizzle. So kind of neat looking knife. Definitely one that if you want one that looks like it's been used and just has that stone wash appearance, this is it. We've got some different variances in the green throughout. Some brighter spots throughout in the green. I just kind of liked like the way this one turned out. I was just kind of playing with it back and forth. And uh, that's how this one turned out. Originally the drizzle wasn't going to be that color, but uh, as I played with the voltage, that's where it landed. So, um, flips nicely. The uh, detent's not terribly strong on it, so it's not one of those that's going to hurt your finger. Um, just got to get used to pushing it down <laughs> at the right, the right amount of pressure and she flies open. So, definitely a very strong, solid design from Zero Tolerance. This is an Anzo design, um, so Anzo was the collaboration on this one. The 220, heavy duty, a lot of titanium in these handles, not milled out like the 920, gives it a little bit of weight, but this is a knife that when it's in your hand feels so solid. This is something I would not be afraid to put into some heavy use, and yes, this one has the black backspacer, not the orange backspacer. Great decision by Zero Tolerance to go back and make a run of these without the orange. Um, made all the difference in the world. I think that's one of the reasons it didn't sell phenomenally up front. Probably would have done a little better had they not had that orange backspacer. That one centered up pretty nicely. Um, lock up. 
is again probably 25 30 percent somewhere in that range those steel lock bar inserts definitely give it a nice steel on steel uh, lock up so you're not going to have any problem with wear did the uh, lanyard to match the the green and the drizzle pretty much hits perfectly on that splotch there so just a cool little knife great one if you want one to get out there and do some heavy use with that is one heck of a solid knife and then the last one for tonight is another one of the 801 ties really like this 801 design I love the cutouts of course we went a green sanded the flat giving it that uh, bronze green patina look did the same thing on this side got a little bit of oil there no big deal but you got some green mixed in with the bronze to give it that patina patina effect another great design you see that blue in there that's the disc that the bearings are mounted in um, very good flippers all of these 801s um, from the time that the first model 801s came out they've always been a nice flipper um, action on these is nice and crisp defense perfect on this one so you just can't go wrong the good old 801 with the uh, with the new finish on the handles with those cutouts so we're probably about 35 40 percent lock up here um, centering is pretty good on it so yeah really good flipper good knife this is the batch that I uh, kind of threw together for tonight like I said I'll have these posted over the next couple days on the website uh, lots of new stuff coming trying to crank out as many as I can before I head out to the USN show here in two weeks so looking forward to getting out there meeting some of the different uh, different people that I'm uh, working some dealer collaboration type things with so became a dealer for a couple of different companies that'll be there so really get, looking forward to meeting some of those guys seeing some cool knives talking with a lot of people that are into the knife community should be a really good time well thank you again for tuning in and we will see you on the next one